Uh, what's going on everybody? Um, it's kind of a cloudy day. It's not a bad day. It's not an ugly day. It's supposed to be a little, it's kind of it's about 70 degrees. But I decided that I want to go down to the pond real quick that I haven't been, I haven't been down here in a while. And uh, I'm gonna I'm a cast a line. See if I can't catch, see if I can't catch something. I went, I came out here the other day and um, caught this real, real itty bitty thing. <laughs> Honestly, there's, there's no, it's, this probably what a half acre pond and uh, it's really overrun with bass. So there's so many in here that they don't get big. There's just not enough food to, to keep them, to, you know, to help them get big. It's just mainly little things but it's fun to come down here um, whenever I do come down and think about it I'll bring a bucket or a stringer with me that way I can the the ones that I catch I'll put in the bucket or I'll put on the stringer and then I'll just get on the golf cart and take them down take it down to uh, the lake and release them in there try to get some of the some of the bass out there's there's brim in here too the brim that are in here actually get pretty big but around there's mainly there's mainly bass so we like to get those out and uh try to help help make you know i could i thought about getting a feeder asking so it's not my pond it's, it's behind my house but it's my uh great uncle's pond and i, I kept thinking i want to ask him if um he'll let me put a feeder out here that way i can kind of help the the population and make maybe get some pretty decent fish in here so it, it stays full pretty much just from the rains uh that we get there has been times where it's gotten pretty low but uh right now it, it's it this is pretty much it it's not a bad spot it's nice it's been here for many years now over here that that field that's where I hunt and I've shot that I shot a very nice deer there last year and um, here's the here's the stand that's my stand right there so I shoot over the pond because you know it's not I don't plant over there the deer actually do come out anywhere that we have acorn trees we got oak trees all over the place so the deer come out over here they come out underneath me literally underneath me and they come out over here and they'll come out over over on the other side of the <coughs> over the side of the pond too all right well i'm gonna sit, let me set you down and uh i'm gonna see if i can't catch see if i can't catch something All right, so this is pretty much the extent of the size that's in there. I mean, they're, like, they're nothing, and they, they get a little bit bigger. I have caught some bigger ones, um, but right now what I was using, let me put this guy back. But what I was using is just plain green worm, a little sparkly, I'm not sure if, what the, the color name is, and a trocar. Um, hook too so it's nothing nothing special it's, it's a little cloudy so i was using a little bit natural looking bait but i'm gonna cast a couple more times and see if we can't find a get you, see if we can't catch a little bit bigger one
All right, see, like I'm saying, there's there's other stuff in there too. Got these little brim shell crackers, whatever you want to call them. I, I've always called them brim, so if I'm wrong, correct me. But um, I mean, this look, I'm fishing the same thing, fishing with um, that worm and just same around the same spot. I mean, I caught the the little bass a little further out and um, just right around some some brush. Um, this little this little thing was sitting there. Um, another thing, if y'all like this hat that I'm wearing, it's American flag. On the front of it says J Hooker Fishing. Um, I'll drop a link in the description. It's a buddy of mine that I work with. His he has a little has a apparel. He does a lot of striper fishing uh, out here on Lake Murray. Go check them out, and they've got shirts, hoodies, hats, koozies, stickers. So y'all make sure to go check them out and give them a like and follow them. Oh, and these shirts. Sorry, if you like the shirt that I'm wearing, rugged wear clothing. I do have a discount code for them, and I'll put another link in the description. Um, Jesse or uh, Jay Bickley ten get you ten percent off. But in mind. I was a tree service hoping he's gonna be bringing me some mulch there's also uh, I guess it's I think it's an electric company they're right down the road too and um, trim some trees and I stopped I stopped and asked them stopped and asked them what they're what they're doing with with their mulch and so uh, I told him he can bring it up here and dump it so maybe they'll bring, maybe I'll get two truckloads of of mulch but I got off this morning so I'm pretty tired I'm just hanging out today um, picked up a go-kart from a buddy of mine too kids don't use it anymore so got some got a little toy to play with for the kids I gotta do some work to it got a uh, the front I don't know if you can see it's all broken so I gotta fix that I ordered a new New exhaust for it because he didn't have the exhaust and then on the very bottom right down there it's cracked so I ordered so ordered a new <clears throat> a new motor, motor mount update around the, the property the kids are doing great as the goats the goats are doing good oak he's growing we were, I was gone for a week. We were gone for a week uh, last week. And unfortunately, Zoe's little rooster ended up passing away. He gets... Hey, youngins. You're doing good. <laughs> Come here. Also, Oki boy, we have been slowly letting them, him and the goats, spend time together. Come here, girl. So they can get used to each other. Uh, it's been going pretty well. He's he's been a good boy. I've been out here with them while we're doing that. Uh, you know, correcting him, make sure he doesn't chase them. They're still skeptical of him, which is to be expected. Chickens are doing great. We're getting a bunch of eggs. Okay, so my buddy just got here with the uh, mulch. Excuse the, the what? There you go there. Alright, this is my buddy Kyle. We went to school together. Tell him, tell him what you do. Uh, tree removal and pruning, and we were dumping some wood chips. We try to uh, reduce, reuse, recycle, keep dump fees down, and uh, and yeah, don't burn your wood. We're, Ship uh, it. 
do something with it. So what, what, what locations do you pretty much just work in? Uh, Columbia, Lexington, West Columbia, Casey. Uh, we'll go all over the place if uh, price is right. We've got jobs we do in Asheville sometimes for friends of ours. Of course, we don't take all the equipment up there, but, um, but yeah. All right, and where can they uh, find you at? Uh, Facebook on Canopy Tree Service on Facebook. Our number is 803-497-8108. And uh, yay, estimates are free. Give us a call. Awesome. Hey, man, I do appreciate it. This is going to go a long way. And, and uh, yeah, it's going to help me out. So my buddy just left. Um, and I just want to take a second and, and say to y'all, you anyone who, if you, you don't have to know the person in order to um, get them to bring you stuff um like that like yeah he's a friend of mine uh i went to school with him he's a good guy and of course i shouted him out on on here so if, if you're local and you need some tree service done um definitely hit him up he's a great guy and so but what i, what I was trying to say is he had put something he had posted on facebook asking if um anybody was looking for if anybody needed some wood chips it saves him from having to take them to the dump because he doesn't necessarily have a place that he stores them and, and sells wood chips so they you'd be surprised at how many tree services yep spring spring has sprung uh you'd be surprised at how many tree services um like that look for people that need it so uh if you need mulch and, and wood chips of course it's, it's all straight you know straight cut from you're straight from you know right from the tree it's not it's not um colored or anything like that and it's fresh so it'll have to sit it, it can sit for a good while too or you can put it out you know okay but so also i don't know i, I think i mentioned earlier that i was leaving the house when i went to go pick up the the go-kart and um the electric company is right down here on the road clearing up branches and stuff and trimming up some of the trees on the lines and all i did was was stop and ask the guy said hey where are you going to dump that he said you know i don't know and i said yeah, i'm right here he's like well he he said i asked where are you going to dump it and he said i'm not sure i can dump it at your house if you want and i said yeah absolutely and i showed him where I live they're still working they're not finished but I'm hoping he still he brings that too because I mean that's mulch that's that's stuff I can use around beds I can use in beds I can use there's a mix of white oak and some pine in there that I can use I can add I can kind of split up the best my you know the best of my ability to and take that pine out and put it with my other pine that I can use around my blueberry bushes and fruit and fruiting bushes like that that like more acidic soils um i can use the shavings of chips and stuff for the animals um so definitely i would recommend putting it out there that i like, also there was another guy who there's an ad on facebook and it's a tree service local tree service and i messaged him i said hey you know what do you do with your wood chips and he said right now he's he's helping a friend out and taking to his house but if he has a job close to me he said he's, he's willing to bring me the chips too so you'd be surprised you're, you're actually helping them and saving them time and money from taking it somewhere and um and it's helping you out because you don't have to you don't have to buy mulch or mulch and, and wood chips so i definitely recommend putting yourself out there talking to to people and you know putting your feelers out because you'd be surprised how many how, how you know how many tree service people out there you know you're helping out so so is it bad that i just want to like jump in in it i mean i know that won't feel good but man this is look at this stuff right here like fresh like it's it's quite warm for going through the the chipper but uh, beautiful stuff got some he said it's got some pine pine in there i don't think i'm going to be able to separate it like i like i thought i would so i'll just let it all break down like these two see my little pile over here over here 
I can start getting this up. I need to kind of turn it a little bit so that the sun can get to these other needles. But yeah, man, look at that. Be able to take that soon. Rake it, turn it, take it soon, and put it over there on my on my blueberry bushes. On the other hand, my uh, dandelion farm is is doing great. My uh, look, I got such great. Great den lines. You know, what's better? Better be able to eat. Mm. So good. See, I'm already able to harvest something I didn't even sow. Now, den lines good, but. Super excited about that mulch. It sounds like those guys just, um, I don't know if they're finished or they're moving or what, but I don't hear them. I don't hear the the wood chipper going anymore. So hopefully, hopefully in a little while we'll get a second load and that'd be awesome. I'm very excited. It's, it's odd to feel, to get excited about getting wood chips delivered. 